Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality, <coughs> lovers of truth, wisdom, sarcasm and irreverence, and individuality in a world which wherein conformity reigns. I thought it was time for a video. It's a nice quiet morning. I am... Um, had a lot of fun exercising my irreverent sarcasm just now on a live stream, so that put me in a in an agreeable mood. And the fact that I do not have to worry about uptight gobshite customers anymore, um, well for the foreseeable future anyway, is um is a welcomed blessed bonus. And also the fact that I have a week off from the subject of my carer status, i.e. not dealing with whining or whinging or any kind of me, 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 me nonsense of any kind means I can actually enjoy some peace and quiet and actually enjoy living alone for this week or so. And <clears throat> that sort of helped me to realize the importance of, especially for a man in this day and age, to actually spend time and fully enjoy and embrace living alone. Um, I really cannot tell you how wonderful that feels, how peaceful that is, um, and how conducive to pursue your own inner journey your own esoteric pursuits, creativity, music. I'll be playing a lot more guitar, which is which is great. I haven't played Iron Maiden licks on guitar for a long time. And I've been thoroughly enjoying that. Indeed, thoroughly enjoying one of my three new guitar purchases, well, recent guitar purchases. Post-redundancy guitar purchases. Namely, my, um, my Maiden um, acoustic guitar. No, not a Martin. A Maton M A T O N. It's a it's an Australian brand and um, a very very beautiful and amazing sounding guitar. Um, it is semi electric, so yes, I can plug it into a, an acoustic guitar amp if I so wish, which will probably come in handy a wee bit later when the um, when the world isn't so fucking insane. <laughs> if enough people start to rise up and sort of say, no, this is this is fucking bullshit, we don't want this, then we as a planet, as a species, will be fine. Um, but when you have when you have when you're living in a country in a state where one man had the flu, and of course he passed on to his wife. So that necessitated four days of wearing those silly masks. And of course, it's been extended for a further week for no good reason. They're just taking the piss at this point. And people are just fucking letting them. But that's a whole other topic. I won't go into that today. I won't bore, I will not bore myself or you with that kind of fuckery today. But um, the above mentioned live stream, I it sort of sparked a few ideas for a video. So here I am, especially coming off a um, Star Wars live stream high with my um, inestimable um, fellow sarcastic Jedi detective and brother uh, Citizen Three Three Three. We had a hell of a sh of a show last night. If you so wish, ch check out the man's channel, Cit Citizen333. We've we just completed our 15th Star Wars live stream. Just a couple of guys getting together and talking about Star Wars. So if that interests you in any way, shape or form, especially the fact that we are very, in the scheme of um, the pansy menace, um, and the Star Wars fandom, we are very, very small channels indeed. He has 45 subs, I have 24 so far. Um, 
we don't we don't kiss anyone's backside. We do our thing irreverently. We don't care about monetization or hit like, subscribe, and share. None of that shite. If you like what we do, come on down. It's that simple. Um, we do pay homage to one of our glorious heroes, the Critical Drinker. Um, the man even um, laid down a a line that we required of him for our, our voice soundbite namely him saying fuck off mouse and he was nice enough to do it for us for the price of a super chat so check out the man's channel the critical drinker is an absolute legend but uh, today I thought I would I would um, comment on a couple of things that sprang to mind after a good um, a good session of sarcastic irreverence that always puts me in a good mood you know it's like really good sex but better and it lasts longer right <laughs> the pleasure lasts longer there's and there's no sticky mess afterwards but uh, it helped me realize that as a man especially in today's world um, being yourself has never been more important um, truly being content in your own skin with who you are and where you find yourself at this given time um, is truly powering and truly liberating I have to say um, people talk about freedom a lot but I think you'll find that therein lies true freedom the ability to truly not give a flying fuck about what anyone says or thinks about you and where you where the only one you are concerned about is yourself what do you think about yourself and have you caught your your inner critic today have you realized the poison he has been um, spreading throughout your mind today those little thoughts that perhaps jealous same-sex siblings or um, or uncouth clueless um, parents drummed into you during your most all-important earliest years of your life. Stop being so stupid. Blah blah blah. You know all these negative, um, condescending. Um, soul-destroying things that we all come to take on as our own baggage and believe as our own beliefs even though they're not but uh, in this in the sphere of um of dating take it we started on that topic <laughs> oh, especially those of uh, th those who are um well silly enough to try online dating oh dear is all i can say at this point in time i will continue to take the piss um it, it is my my pledged duty <laughs> um as a sarcastic heathen jedi detective and um friend of such illustrious deities as loki <laughs> Um, you're really asking for trouble that's all I can tell you but there it is and um, the games people play and all these little rules that people follow it's just incredible it's just incredible it's um it makes me glad and happy that I am currently a monk um Amazing, life-changing things happen. Um, however, and unexpected things happen. However, I am happy at this point in time, right now, where I find myself in this May 2021. I am currently a monk and am enjoying being one. Um, especially through my own experiences, through various 
females I've interacted with through contact of my old job who flirted and etc and established a very friendly easygoing rapport only to find that she has a partner and that's the, the game that is played these days and the modern man really needs to sort of slap himself around a few times and wake up and realize what the fuck am I doing? Why am I being a pussy beggar for? Honor yourself. Improve yourself. Work on yourself. You've probably got a lifetime of trauma and crap to release and deal with. That is more than enough to get you going for the next few years. Hmm? And <coughs> we also live in an era where labels are used, especially when it comes to the, the modern man. Um, one of my favorite, which I enjoy taking the piss out of, is um, <coughs> men who enjoy going out of their way to remind everyone that they are a quote-unquote alpha male. Which, of course, contains its own baggage of expectations and, um, and wrong ideas. Um, so an alpha male means you sort of treat, specifically treat women like absolute crap and you, you go to the gym and you become a typical gym junkie, you know, with, and you spend your time trying to get into women's pants and sort of remind all the other guys that if they're not doing the same, they're not real men, they are beta males, right? By the way, st stop misappropriating my Hellenic um, alphabet. Fuck off, right? Cultural appropriation, okay? Fuck off, uh, drinker. We need you to. We, we need your services. <laughs> Fuck off, gobshoot. Um, labels don't get sucked into trying you to fit your um, your multi-leveled infinite awareness into a little fucking um, label, all right? You're a lot better and much more wonderful than that. A man, a real man, follows truth, doesn't backstab, has respect for himself first, then others who, who are deserving of respect. You don't just get respect because you have a vagina. No, you earn it. This is a meritocracy. You get this role. You, you, get, you get to make this film because you tick these woke boxes. No. The best person for the job gets the job. This man has honor, integrity doesn't spend his time unceasingly blabbering knows when to keep his fucking mouth shut is quietly confident in himself in his own skin in his own meat bag which he currently inhabits where he finds himself in this place and time And this man experiences true freedom <clears throat> because a long time ago he has removed himself and removed all traces of his parents' expectations, his family expectations and beliefs, society, national, human, whatever, which, however, whatever level of humanity you wish to, to go to. Um, he doesn't give a fuck what current society thinks about him. He, d he follows his own path and quietly does his own thing. You want true freedom? There it is. He doesn't pursue um, woman after woman to feel special or to have any kind of status in 
in the current society. Neither does he enslave himself to a building, to a mortgage where he spends all his life paying off. And in this day and age where a three bedroom shit box is over a million dollars, that usually passes to the children. Or if you're lucky enough to pay your own house, you probably pay it off by what, 70? 75? And you may have five, ten years to enjoy it with increasing health problems and um, decreasing mobility and perhaps decreasing mental faculties. If you're lucky enough to have Alzheimer's or dementia, then, you, then you're dead. Then your family fights over your assets, your property, your house, which has spent so much time and energy paying off do you see the unceasing cycle of slavery? Or a man gets in touch with, or spends time getting in touch with his masculinity and therein his inner deity. He connects with all these wonderful allegories and archetypes and myths and stories. He becomes Iron John. He becomes Jason. He becomes Odysseus. Yes, it's pronounced Odysseus or Odysseus. Okay. Those coming from um, having two Greek parents should know that. <laughs> fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. He becomes John Barleycorn. He becomes the Wicker Man. Really interesting too. I think I might, I might uh, pursue some deep dives into those stories um, on my Pagan Monk channel. Especially the um, the Hero's Journey um, characters. Really fascinating stuff. And how it relates to masculinity today. Um, might do a series of those. Um, including stories about who or what is John Barleycorn. And, um, which of course, another expression of this character is um, the Wicker Man. Um, yes, paganism does um, does survive in uh, in English folklore and the folk culture and tradition. Um, the sadistic evil Abrahamic gobshites couldn't kill it. Neither can they. And of course, there are ties in there are ties with possible ties with uh, with Beowulf somehow. In fascinating stuff. I'll, if you're interested, I, or just for my own pleasure. I might um, do videos on these characters on my Pagan Monk channel. If you're not su subscribed, feel free to make yourself or go over there, or not, as you see fit. But um, I think that's where I'll leave it today. Uh, but you need to follow the path. You have all the power within you right now to do what you need to make yourself better than you were yesterday and to make yourself better tomorrow than you are right now. It is possible. You have all the tools and information already within you. You just need to get your off your lazy backside and do it. And don't be a fucking gobshite. Follow the path. Follow that inner flame. Therein lies true happiness and freedom. The, um, the lone life coaching wolf on guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Out.